These bioreactors may soon be churning out cell-based meat for American diners. This is set to be the world's first industrial cell-based meat facility. The meat here doesn't come from slaughtering animals. Instead, it's grown from animal cells in bioreactors. The cultured meat industry is at a stage of transitioning from lab to factory in a way. It's proven that technology can work and in fact startups can produce that type of meat and now the challenge is to actually produce this meat in large quantities. Future meat technologies will produce up to 1,100 pounds of meat a day in this plant. It's raised $43 million from investors, including meat giant Tyson Foods. The company from the start set a target to actually produce commercially viable cultured meat and therefore has really focused on bringing the production costs down and finding a way to scale up production. But it's not an easy road ahead for the industry. One thing is scaling up production, bringing the costs down, getting prices to be as close to conventional meat as possible in order to convince consumers to switch. Consumers need to actually embrace the product, they need to trust it. So winning over consumers and as well as regulators uh, will be key. If consumers take to these products, the market could reach $25 billion by 2030. That's according to McKinsey & Co. At the moment, cultured meat is only allowed to be sold in Singapore. But Future Meat Technologies is in talks with U.S. regulators to start offering its products in restaurants by the end of next year. So, would you try it?